also talks about uh, what we call midges or, or blind mosquitoes and how beautiful they were and how many millions there were more than the entire population of the earth and and he goes in and he, and he, and he uh, goes in, into great detail on what a beautiful animal the uh, the blind mosquito was and they didn't play <laughs> no, they no, didn't no, they didn't. <laughs> and still and still don't these are the blind mosquitoes but they are a, are a major nuisance today that's right and, and then so the difference between a naturalist and and and, and a normal human <laughs> was, was the uh, was the uh, the beauty of the blind mosquito. Yeah. The um, when I worked at the water management district, people would uh, we would get a lot of calls uh, during the blind mosquito season of people complaining about about the number of blind mosquitoes, and they said, you know, it it never was like this. It must be river pollution. <laughs> and I took a lot of uh, a lot of pride in pulling out my my Bartram's travels. And I would pull it out, and I would actually read the sentence that that uh, William Bartram wrote in Travels to, as Sam described, these these uh, the numbers of these things were like the stars in the sky, or the number of people ever to inhabit the earth. It's a it's a very um, it's it's a very interesting and and. It's just a very unique sentence. The thing is, must be must be a hundred words, more than a hundred words long. Yeah. But it's a, a very it long, run long sentence. Detail. Just about the beauty and the number of these things. So I, I tell these people, well, you know, these, this this isn't anything new. These blind <laughs> mosquitoes were here in great numbers even during Bartram's day.